Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Wanda. Happy Saturday to everybody. Hopefully everybody's having a great step to the weekend. Oh, I've got to tell you, the weather here in New England, yesterday, it was mid-80s. Today, it's not even going to get out of the 50s. <sighs> I tell you, can't stand it. You go from a t-shirt and capris to a sweatshirt. I've had it. Just bring on summer. <laughs> well, the reason for today's video is I have post candle reviews for you today. I have them from Homeworks, Bath and Body Works, and Goose Creek Candle. I have four today. Now, the first one we shall get into is from Homeworks. It's the four week, four wick jar in the sugared beignets. The packaging is everything. The jars are just beautiful. They're so heavy, substantial. I love the monogrammed mirrored lid. And as you can see, I really burnt this down to the gills until the absolute bottom that I absolutely could. The scent notes on this are French pastry, powdered sugar, spun sugar, vanilla, and cinnamon. And as far as I'm concerned, it was spot on with the scent notes. It did smell, you know, like a very much a warm powdered cinnamon donut. Or even if you want to say like a fried dough that you would get at the beach, a carnival. You know, it was, so it was truly a spot on to its scent notes. The one things I don't like about the these jars is at the end it had a trouble pulling out and the wicks is so darn flimsy that if you touch them they break they just break you just touch them and they break off you know you have to be very diligent in maintaining the burn on these because after two hours they stop mushroom over go into the wax so you know that part of the candle is problematic so that's probably my worst gripe on the homeworks brand in general now again as I said on this candle the scent notes are spot on the throw on this was a light to a medium I'm not saying it was perfectly right in the middle. It wasn't too light. It wasn't too medium. Um, I had this burning in my office. And I could smell it in my office. But what I got more on this was a cinnamon note. A cinnamon sugar note. More than, you know, in the uh, French pastry or the pastry, the fried donut, whatever you want to call it. Was more of an undertone to it. Um, so with that being said, would I repurchase this one? No. Um, for the simple reason, the maintenance on them. And I do love the fragrance of this, but they do have other companies that provide stronger candles with the same scent notes. Thus, the warm sugar donut and they have a cinnamon sugar donut from Goose Creek and those are very very strong at probably half the cost so that's why I would not repurchase that one the next one is from Goose Creek Candle Company and this was the candied pretzel with the cute little cutout pretzels for a luminary jar you know the three wick I burnt that down to the gills. I took the lid off and I still got a heck of a whiff of it, but I also got a wick of that soot at the bottom. As you can see, I burnt this down to the gills, so it did soot. The scent notes on this one is soft pretzel, white chocolate, sea salt, and whipped vanilla. Now this, I could smell the pretzel, but it was a warm baked pretzel like again you get at the carnival the beach Annie Ann's they have that little pastry kiosk you know in malls or what have you 
So it was a warm, doughy pretzel, not a hot pretzel. And you did get sweetness to it and you got a little bit of salt to it. So, you know, I did pick up that vanilla. I did do a current burn review when I started this. And I said, run, don't walk. It was really a medium to a high throw. Within 30 minutes, you could smell it in the room that you were burning in and other rooms as well. That actually, that throw stayed with the candle the entire time until I couldn't burn it any longer. And then at the end, it did really soot to the wax. And I also think it's because I do this when I put the candles out. So that I think that smoke stays into the vessel and eventually gets, goes back into the jar itself. You know, the wicks I trimmed a little bit, but they weren't bad. So this wasn't, like I said, it didn't misbehave until the end. So would I purchase this again? Yes, I would. I, I, tr I would um, when they come on like a clearance or something like that. But, you know, when they do the $15, I wouldn't. But if the price is right, I definitely would purchase that one again. Now we have two from Bath & Body Works. The first one is the White Barn Signature Core and Orange Pineapple Punch. It didn't, it didn't soot at the bottom. It did here against the rim because at the end, and I think a lot of, of us are guilty of this, the last like quarter inch or whatever the wax that we have we just want to get through it really and go for something else we just let it burn so that's what happened at the end but it pulled out quickly i had no problems with the wicks i didn't have any problems with the sitting and the scent notes in this are tart orange juice sweet pineapple and vanilla sugar cane this is a really nice candle. When the weather started getting warm here, this is what I went to. And I had all the windows open. And I don't know if because of the windows being open that it helped project the throw. Or if it's just that strong. But I could just smell a tart but sweet citrusy candle. You know, you could smell the orange juice. You could smell the pineapple, a little bit of sweetness with the sugar. It was just a true pleasure to burn. It really was. And I definitely would give the throw on this a medium high. Again, was it because of the windows open or was it because it's just that strong? I think it's just that strong. So would I purchase this again? Yes, I would and I have. Um, when the candles were that eleven ninety five, that one day I did get a backup of this because would I pay what twenty six fifty for a candle? No, eleven ninety five. I'm there. And last but least, uh, uh, the bell of the ball, shall we say? Bath and Body Works sour melon drop, and that beautiful paint stroke abstract jar which I think is just one of the most beautiful jars that they have come out with for a collection it it's wonderful I burnt this down to you there was a, nothing left yeah there was sitting on that I had problems with one wick I think also Tisha Keen said when she burnt one she had problems with one wick as well it didn't affect the performance it didn't affect the throw I think what it was is these were thick thick wicks on this one and when I trimmed it it frayed it actually frayed at the top of the uh, of the wick so that would sorry allergies itchy everywhere and so it affected that one wick at the top at all but again the last burn you could probably see on the glow where the it's really like n there's nothing there um yeah, I lost my train of thought. But I burnt this down to nothing. And this was just, didn't really, you know, even though I had problems with that one wick, the sitting really didn't get like that until, again, the last burn. 
The scent notes on this one is juicy candied watermelon, sour green apple, and bursting honeydew melon. This is like Jolly Rancher watermelon, Jolly Rancher salad, um, sour apple, and honeydew melon. This is phenomenal. This is in my top five. The like I said, the performance, it, it you know, at the last besides that one wick, it didn't do bad until the last burn. The throw on this medium high, this was fantastic. I would I let this in my office, filled up the office, went through the kitchen. I did it in the living room, filled up the living room, filled up the kitchen, went to the office down the hallway, and that did it with both windows closed, windows open. This thing was fantastic. Now. When this first came out, I said to a couple people, yeah, I think this is going to be the candle no one's going to be able to find. I was right. You know, it, it is hard to find. My two stores that I have locally here in New Hampshire within a 35-mile one-trip radius, they don't have them. And I ended up scoring a bunch of them to begin with. And so when I repurchased this, yeah, because I have five in my backups because it's that good. When they're in my top five, I will get make sure I have enough of them to get through because you probably won't find it again. If you do, great. If you don't, that's fine too. So that, that's my um, post burn reviews. I have been fortunate enough on the uh, Bath and Body Works SAS hunt. You know, I did the body care. I did find some candles. I still have candles coming in from when they did the eleven ninety five candles. My three toasted hazelnut praline and two with a toasted coconut cupcake are still in transit somewhere. I called customer service. They had to get them from a different location. And of course, the toasted hazelnut praline is also in my top five, as well as the uh, toasted coconut cupcake. 75% um, candles. I did post a short video the other day. I did score three of the brown sugar latte. Again, they're in my tops. And I did get a single wick of the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. And I went online today and I did find, was able to get two of the um, cinnamon caramel swirl and one frosted coconut snowball. So I'm happy, you know, with the, uh, I get the 75%, some of the 75% off candles. Um, I'm pretty much done now with SAS. Unless a 75% candle comes up in a store, if I, hap if I happen to go, then I'll pick one up. But I'm staying home this weekend. This is the final weekend of Laconia Bike Week. And there's so many bikes out here, you know, I just, and with the price of gas, yeah, you know, I got enough for now. Some good there. <laughs> so happy hunting to everybody that's still out there going to different stores for uh, Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. To all the fathers out there, happy Father's Day. So again, have a great weekend. Thank you for staying with me. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to comment because I will answer you back. And have a great day. Thanks again. Bye.